Skies this morning in Healthy Living. We're talking about internal medical problems, and some internal problems are difficult to diagnose, but endoscopic ultrasound, also called EUS, is making it easier for doctors at Spring Hill Medical Center. Dr. Michael Sanders answers questions about the procedure. This elaborate piece of equipment you're looking at is the newest type of endoscopic equipment at Spring Hill Medical Center. It's called EUS, or endoscopic ultrasound, and today we're with Dr. Michael Sanders to explain exactly what this does. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. First of all, endoscopic ultrasound. How is that different from just a plain ultrasound? Well, this is a little different in that it's similar to a normal ultrasound, but what's happened here is we've actually miniaturized the ultrasound machine and placed it on the end of an endoscope so that it allows us to actually place this within the intestinal tract and actually do ultrasound so that we can see images that we were previously not able to see. Okay, who would be a candidate to get this procedure? Well, anyone that has any type of GI tumor. A lot of the times we're using this for esophageal cancer, gastric cancer, pancreatic cancer, rectal cancer, and even when visualizing for chronic pancreatitis or bile duct stones. Okay, this isn't something where I can just walk into your office and say, oh my gosh, my stomach hurts so bad, I wanna have this EUS. Yeah, typically this is actually performed after a gastroenterologist has already assessed a patient. Either they found something that looks unusual within the GI tract, something that may be compressing on the GI tract that they cannot see with endoscopy alone, or oftentimes when they have some type of pancreatic problem that they've really not been able to visualize or to diagnose. So maybe other tests are run before we go to this? Correct, correct. Okay, can we see how it works? Yes, yes. This is actually the, the scope here. Um, we can actually uh, drive the scope by using these dials here, wow. very similar to a regular endoscope. And we have the light source here, mm -hmm. and actually you can see as we press this, we can see images of my hand. So Very you have easy. a nice endoscopic image. Uh -huh. And then at the same time, on the image to the right, we can actually see the ultrasound images. Uh -huh. So very detailed images. Exactly. This also has the ability to do biopsies. If we see something under ultrasound, we can then pass a needle through the channel of the endoscope and then direct it under ultrasound guidance into the tumor uh -huh. or the area of interest in order to acquire tissue for a diagnosis. Wow, very, very interesting. So this procedure is just very detailed. Correct. So better diagnosis for the patient. Yes. It's better imaging than a CT scan, an MRI, um, a transcutaneous or a, a transabdominal ultrasound. Um, so that's where it really has its uh, advantages over other imaging modalities. All right, sounds great. If you would like to learn more about EUS or endoscopic ultrasound, you can visit Spring Hill Medical and you can get more information about Spring Hill Medical Center on our website. Just visit us on the Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. And again, if you think that you may be a candidate for endoscopic ultrasound, you can make an appointment with Dr. Sanders. He practices internal medicine at Spring Hill Medical Center. You can get that information on our website, fox10tv.com. Just go to the Studio 10 section.